Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama made a campaign stop today at Jacksonville's Metropolitan Park. Thousands of Obama supporters filled the park to capacity, prompting fire marshals to close the gates, citing safety concerns. We got such a big crowd. It's, you know, there is football today. I don't know if y'all are aware. Obama's speech touched on economic issues. I think everybody here understands that we've gone through some very difficult times this week at home. The events of this week have shown that the stakes of this election could not be higher. And they could not be clearer. We are in the midst of the most serious financial crisis in generations. Three of America's five largest investment banks have failed or been sold off in distress. Our housing market is in shambles. Monday night brought the worst losses on Wall Street since the day after September 11th. He also took a moment to respond to his opponent's comments about his experience. Yesterday, my opponent... He gave a speech in which his big solution to this worldwide economic crisis, one of the, one, the, the biggest financial problem that we've had since the Great Depression, his big solution was to blame me for it. That was his answer. This, this is a guy who spent a quarter century in Washington. And after spending the entire campaign saying the reason you should elect him is because he's got all this Washington experience and that I haven't been in Washington long enough, apparently he's now decided to assign me responsibility for all the things going on in Washington. Later in his speech, he stated his position on education and health care. Now's the time to finally meet our moral obligation to provide every child with a world-class education. From the day that child is born to the day that child graduates from college. Because it will take nothing less to compete in the global economy. So I'm going to recruit an army of new teachers. We're going to pay them higher salaries and give them more support. In exchange, I'll ask for higher standards and more accountability, but we're going to make sure the teachers don't have to teach to the test. Because we want our children learning everything. I will finally keep the promise of affordable, accessible health care for every single American. If you have health care, I will lower your premiums working with your employer. If you don't have health care, you'll be able to get the same health care that members of Congress give themselves. Because you know what? You, the taxpayer, you pay our salaries. You're our boss. We shouldn't have better health care than you do. He finished up his speech stressing how important Florida will be in the election this November. City by city, county by county, state by state. And I promise you, we will not just win Florida. We will win this general election. And you and I together, we will change this country and change the world. God bless you, Florida. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Go to Jacksonville.com for more on Barack Obama's visit to Jacksonville.